Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Retro Tango here. Today's video is gonna be a video about the 68060 CPU. Now, as we all know, we can upgrade our lovely Amiga 1200s with accelerator cards and more RAM, more speed, love that stuff. You can put in small cheap cards like these that runs at 020 CPU, 68020 and give some RAM expansion and this one runs at 16 megahertz and they're fine you can have a ram upgrade and run again um, with 020 or 30 and have a lot of fun with your amigas but lately we got the new product from cs lab that's called warp 1260 this is a beast this is absolutely the best product for the amiga 1200 period nothing beats it Yes, you can emulate with different standalone boxes and stuff like that. We're not going to go into all that stuff. This is real hardware. This is real 68060. This is for purists. This is for us people that just love the real hardware. Okay, so let's just focus on that. Now, through this hobby, I have gained so much friendship with a lot, a lot of retro Amiga PC Commodore 64 users and oh man I'm just so thankful for that one thing is just making videos and you guys saying great job and all sort of awesome stuff like that but lately on my Facebook page you guys are writing that you bought Amiga 3000s 4000s 1200s because of my videos because I inspired you that's the biggest accomplishment I can get. So thank you for being a part of the team. Okay, today we're gonna look at this little box here. Now this is not mine. Okay, so don't ask me to sell any of these. Um, this is a project that I have uh, ongoing with one of my friends, one of my amazing friends that I gained through the Amiga hobby. These are his and he's on the search for the real 68060 Revision 6 CPUs. Now, let's open this one together <laughs> and see what's inside because today we are going to check what he has bought. These were not cheap. These are 68060 CPUs, but we don't know what revision. Okay. There should be 10 in here. The price he should pay for them was just ridiculously high. He used a couple of hours to think about it and two of them was gone. <laughs> so he bought eight of the CPUs for a really, really high amount of price. So today, and I got them, and uh, if it is revision six, I'm gonna buy one or two of them. Uh, if not, then uh, it's really bummer. Now, the way we're gonna test it is actually not with my warp card, because Caesar and Andre, they soldered the 68060 for me here so i'm not gonna remove that the way we're gonna test these cpus are through this little thing little amiga 1200 expansion card here um, that has got this 68060 cpu and it says, you know, 68060 RC 50 megahertz. But they all have got, if we take a closer look here, they all have got this little uh, code or what you should call it. And that says that it is the revision five. Okay, so this one is gonna be pulled out, thrown out <laughs> because we want to use the revision six. We have a lot of RAM, nice stuff guys. So the way we pull out these chips from these beautiful PowerPC cards are actually with a little tool like this, a little puller. 
do not do not use a screwdriver that some guy has done here can you see it has cracked a little tip here <laughs> so be careful with that um, get one of these they cost a, a euro or something like that and the way you pull these chips out are actually you just you can see how they look here and you will just put it in here and when you want to take them out also on the side here when you want to pull them out you will not just bend it this way okay if you do so you will scratch the surface here of the CPU and you will probably bend or maybe break some of the legs so what you are going to do is you're going to be extremely extremely what's that word um, patient <laughs> patience <laughs> so you will just uh, put this one uh, carefully in through the legs here and you will slide it this way in okay this way just a millimeter a millimeter a millimeter and again and again and again and again and at last it will come off and so um, I will go ahead and do so and install one of these new 68060s and we're gonna connect this to an Amiga 1200 and we're gonna check together on this video first time ever in uh, which Amiga and we're going to see if this is the revision 6 or not <laughs> so let's open this beauty together this label is here because that's where he bought these uh, chips from now as you can see here these are bought as New old stock, never used 68060 CPUs, guys. New old stock. The thing is, when I'm gonna install it in here, it's not going to be easy because these uh, used ones, they're, they're, they're okay to slide in with, but the new ones, they're not easy. I have tried it before, I know how it feels, man. So I'm gonna be really, really careful. And look at this, man. Having a friend through this Amiga hobby, he's just of course you can borrow all this <laughs> isn't that great guys so if these are 060 revision 6 cpus if they are then he can get 20 more from the same supplier but we're not sure guys but because we have bought um before where it was revision 4 and stuff like that so let's just go ahead and remove this little uh, new old stock. As you can see here, this one, CTE, these CPUs are made back in 2001, the 47th week of 2001. So these are one of the last produced from Motorola and then they shipped to uh, Freescale, I think they were called. Um, so yeah, 47th week of 2001 and quantity was 10, two of them just, they got sold for a ridiculously high amount of price, but yeah, CPU 68060 RC50A, uh, 68060 RC50C, yeah, a lot of stuff here. So let's just take one of these up. Check a closer look. Man, I really hope, I really, really hope that they are revision six, but let's just take a closer look here, guys, because, um, I mean, look at this beauty. Isn't it nice? So if they are revision six, I think I'll buy two of them. He can keep four of them and maybe I'll talk to him and sell two of them from my Facebook page um, because yeah why not um, 
I don't know what they're gonna cost, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask him. Uh, if, you, if you're not uh, at my Facebook page, it's Commodore64-Amiga Retro Jinko. So uh, I will ask him for a price and I will just, you know, because we don't need, uh, maybe I need only one of them if they are old. <sighs> Look at this. And these didn't come from China. These came from the United States of America. If you want to see the number up at the corner there. And they absolutely look beautiful, man. Beautiful. Wow. <laughs> All right, guys. So let's just go ahead and uh, pull this one off and install one of these great looking CPUs. <laughs> there we go. Carefully now, this is the revision 5. And as you can see here, it's missing a leg. And the same should be over here. As you can see, it's missing a leg. So we have to turn it this way. And now new CPU, it should be, yeah, as I thought. I'm gonna press here at the RAM location. And okay, it's it slides all right. So let's just install this and see how it performs. <laughs> nice. Cross your fingers, guys. I hope it's revision six. This is an Amiga 1200 that I bought back in 2018, and it has just been standing there so I think it is time to use it because my main Amiga runs with the Warp 1260 and that socket is the white socket and they're not easy to install they're not easy to pull out so that 1260 card is gonna be in that Amiga 1200 forever <laughs> that's for sure so I don't know the, about the condition of this one I don't know if it even works, but uh, we're gonna check it out together, guys, and see how it works. Moment of the truth now. Let's give the Amiga some power and see what's gonna happen. Now, I have installed the GoTek drive. So we are going to load which Amiga from there. And um, I installed I took out this revision 5 and I installed this one, revision 6. So let's just go ahead and see for the first time if it's the revision 6. I truly hope so because we have not been lucky with buying these CPUs guys. So uh, oh, we have only 64 RAM because when I had to install this Usually I use just a board, but as you can see on this Amiga, um, the board is installed and it, the RAM is just too high. So I took off the 128, but it doesn't matter. 64 is just more than enough. So guys, it's gonna happen now. Together with you guys, we're going to load which Amiga and See what's gonna happen. Okay. It's the revision six. <laughs> yes, man. Finally, finally. Ah, oh, this is just. Great, as you can see, Motorola 68060, 60, 50 megahertz, that's st stock. Uh, revision 6, and yeah, the Power Plus 330 megahertz. But I'm being asked, why don't you make Power PC videos? Why don't you use Mediator PCI cards? Take your 3D FX cards from your PCs, put them over, and sound cards from your PCs. Take all those stuff from your PCs and put them on your Amiga. No, no, and no. I'm just 
really not interesting for me. So now I'm, I don't want my Amiga to be a PC, okay? So this Power PC card is just, it does nothing for me. <laughs> but Revision 6, beautiful stuff, guys. And all of them are just identical. It was, as the seller said, I mean, it looks like new in box and feels like new in box, and it is the revision six, and so it says on the label on the box, and this is just beautiful stuff, guys. So I want to say thank you for watching. I will go ahead and test all the other seven CPUs now, but I'm so happy, and I'm happy to share my happiness with you guys. So. Um, Thank you for watching and until next time, check out some of my other videos guys. Have a great day out there. Bye.